Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Superstar Saga. I am Turtle Epic, and we are playing as Solo Luigi. It's time for Luigi to shine. Well, not really. But uh, yeah, Luigi is on his own. That means no bros attacks. Um, and also they kind of take mercy on you with the battles. They aren't uh, as tough as, you know, the others, like having three or four enemies on screen at once. My suggestion, however, is not to battle here with Luigi. I mean, you can, but uh, I choose not to, and you'll see why later. Like you saw there, the guy threw the spear at us and we entered into a battle. Now, I get to show you how run works. Press B repeatedly, or A and B repeatedly if you have both brothers, and you lose coins as you run away. Um, like about five coins per, per brother for running away. So that's what I did with all these battles. I just, if I got into battle, I just ran away. You know, because that's Luigi style. He bravely runs away, away. Thankfully, we gathered uh, some coins to make up for the ones that we lost running away. And we made it back to Mario. No harm done. Mario is stuck in the barrel, though, so we're going to ride him down the river. Look at Luigi go. And boom, we make it back to the castle. Oh, you almost had his name. Come on. Meanwhile, back in the castle. So, uh, Queen Bean's still out of commission. However, we have the means to rescue her. By squirting soda into her mouth. And there's the belly black worm. Yeah, that's not a very sounding one either. Like, black and nyak. Those two can go in the same category of awfulness. And she changed from a big, creepy, muscular lady to a big, giddy, fat lady. Improvement? So, we have managed to rescue the queen, and now she can help us with uh, retrieving Peach's voice and the queen. Er, Peach's voice and the bean star. Now, where could they be? Oh, by the way, we get a little bit of backstory about the Bean Star. Basically, uh, amazing cosmic power, uh, sealed away, nobody could ever use, too good, game breaker. Um, his only voice could awaken it, pure heart, princess only, because she's so self righteous. And Cacoletta somehow got herself on a scroll and she took the Bean Star and voice. Okay, so obviously she wants to rule the world because that's what all villains want. And we can't have that because her economic policy is horrible. Now, Prince Peasley decides to make a guest appearance and he has an update for us about what Cacoletta's plans are next. Because if you'll remember, he was on a super secret mission. Oh, Bobby. You're so optimistic. Prince Beasley, your hair is as stunning as always. Ugh. <sighs> It would be really nice if he told us, the saviors of their kingdom, what that secret mission was. You know? So we could maybe help out with the secret mission. The one that's for our benefit. No secrets. Anyways. We have to head to Woohoo University. Which... 
It's kind of odd. I kind of thought uh, West Virginia University was Woohoo University. But uh, no, it's in this game. So. Now it's our task to follow him, and we now can head to the east towards the university, whereas we weren't able to go in that direction before. I don't see no gardens above us. I think you're lying. So, over here, we have some books that will give us some interesting tidbits. Um, although, they're pretty much everything that I've said. Use your hammer to stun enemies. Uh, Rose attack multiple times. Advance command. Stash points. Gets lucky hits in battle. And stash points also influence shopkeepers. Told something new, guys. Jeez. So, with that, let's go ahead and head outside. And now, the uh, city has been repaired. So, let's take a look around. See, uh, all the music is nice sounding now. Everything's so fresh and clean. And we also can enter this place. It's a uh, pipe house. Hey, hey! Welcome to the pipe house! I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Want to ask about pipes? See you later! Don't come, you don't want to ask. Anyways, sorry for the voice. Now we have a connecting pipe to Stardust Fields, uh, Chuckle Huck Woods, and the castle. Um, these pipes will all be coming in handy, even the Chuckle Huck Woods one, which we'll see later. Uh, if you send Tiny Mario back here, then you can find something interesting towards the back. But first, you have to go through this perilous maze built for four year olds. But in the back here, you will find... You will find... Ha! Hidden blocks! I told you I wasn't crazy. And oftentimes from hidden blocks, you will get who beans. So, click those and be on your merry way out of there. Hopefully I didn't miss any more than that, because I won't be going back there. So jump up. Now let's head into the city proper, shall we? So this shop has now become just the accessories shop. The item shop lady went and uh, did her own thing now. So we have new fashions to look at. Parasol pants, they boost defense during battles. Hard pants, which... Uh, you know, increase defense and also work wonders on your love life. And also, uh, heart genes, which have a boost towards, uh, well, heart. <laughs> so, what we want to do is we want to. Wait, do I want to buy anything? Okay, no, no pants. Um, however. What we can do is buy. Oh, counter badge increases counter attack damage. And that one's apparently a bargain, even though it's not really. So, once I decide what to do here. Okay, yes, we want to buy a charity badge for Luigi. Well, I'm glad that wasn't a total waste of time. And we can also sell back our stuff to her. We can sell back uh, the old P badge, which isn't really as useful anymore, and also one of the uh, spike badges, since we got two of those.
Nope, nope. Just uh, Queen Bean laughing her face off. That's all. Apparently it causes uh, a 3 on the Richter scale. So one of these guys actually inhabits this house. Don't know what they're called though. I guess they're a Koopa, maybe? I don't know. Aw oh, man. Maybe we can steal it. Oh yeah, Prince Peasley. He's a secret agent man. I'm sure you can, Paul. I'm sure you can. Here we have another tip house. Conveniently, uh, he opened up his books to pages that are actually relevant to us. However, once again, they're all pretty much things that I've... Uh, you know, covered already. Um, except for that one. That's, uh... Apparently... Whew, excuse me. There's another functionality when you use the Nintendo GameCube uh, with, like, a Game Boy Advance player. But I never owned a GameCube, so I can't test that out for you guys. Sorry. Let's uh, not listen to his report. Let's click that mushroom. Oh, did I go back and listen to his report? Dang it. Anyways, this guy, apparently he's looking for bean stones. And I actually haven't done anything with bean stones before. I'm guessing that they have something to do with the Nint Nintendo GameCube stuff. You know, they might be underneath the ground somewhere. Uh, if I think that it's actually relevant, or that I can get these bean stones, or get something from them, then I'll do those too. But, like I said, I'm not sure, because I haven't done that before. It'll be something new for me to experiment with. Now, here's the place why I want you to start collecting those beans. It's the famed Star Beans Cafe. Oh, the puns abound. So, here's how this place works. There are seven different uh, kinds of drinks that you can make. And they all take a certain amount of beans, each bean. Um, so, the more beans you collect, the more drinks you can make. And you want to make at least one of each kind of drink. For one thing, each of these drinks gives you a stat bonus when you uh, drink it. A permanent stat bonus. And something else is that whenever you make one of these drinks, then you get an interesting accessory. We will be making one drink right here. Look at that beautiful brew. A nice... Auburn... A Chococino. Hmm. Sounds pretty good, actually. So, for any of you who've played Luigi's Mansion, you might uh, recognize this ghost and the fact that Luigi's scared of it. And you might also recognize this guy. It's Professor Egad. Apparently, he's the guy that made uh, this cafe. That's his mug up there at the top. So every time that you make a new drink, then he will come in and he will uh, ask for a taste of one of the new drinks. So we have to wait for him to uh, go on his rant there. As Mario holds his drink high up in the air, the scalding underside burning through his glove. He takes a sip, and he always likes the drink, so never worry about that. And now he gives us something interesting. We get the Greed Wallet. 
By the way, uh, another interesting tidbit, all these accessories that you'll be seeing all have references to different video game characters. And they would have had cameos, but uh, those were cut out late in development. So, here's the Chococino. It raises defense for one character. We'll give that to Mario. And now, if you look back at equipment, we have a spot for accessories. Let's go ahead and give Mario the Greed Wallet, which gives us double coins from every battle. Very nice. And the Greed Wallet's representative character would have been Wario, from the Wario Land and uh, WarioWare games. So, very nice. Keep collecting those beans, because we have several more accessories to go, and most of them are pretty useful. Now here's the most pointless waste of money in the game. And it's also run by a very shady looking dude. So uh, you can get hints for a hundred coins. However, you know, it's pretty much not necessary ever. Hopefully you uh, wouldn't be too inept that you can't figure out this game on your own. Or by listening and watching my podcasts. Not not podcasts, videos, let's plays. I'm getting confused. <clears throat> Anyways. So that's pretty much all that there is to the town. Um, something interesting here. If you smash Mario and you try and do the super jump with, Lu with Luigi, but Mario jumps instead at the same time, then you can knock a coin out of Luigi every time you do. But it also takes off one hit point from him every time you do. One coin, one hit point. So you can grind for cash that way if you really want to. Hmm. Old age equals fourth wall breaking. Got it. Can't wait until I'm old and then I know the secrets of the universe. That'll be fun. Here the uh, we have the item shop lady. And now she sells one-up mushrooms. You sh however, you should also have plenty of those and be strong enough to where you never really have to worry about dying. At least see those stupid fuzz bushes. I hate those things. super expert a little bit of that uh, I hope you're talking about money man travelers insurance we don't care about that we're superstars we go where we want for free that's what we do Uh, no, we didn't know that. Well, I mean, I did, but, you know, they didn't. But I'm sure that that's just a rumor, right? Hand powers? I mean, come on, that's absurd. So, that's all that the town has to offer, and next time, we'll be on our way to... Woohoo! University. So, I'm excited, and I'll see you there. Adios.